Assalamualaikum everybody So today in our video we are going to talk about data transmission parallel versus series So what is this data transmission and the parallel versus series anyway? Wanna know more? Let's find out Data transmission is the data transfer between two or more digital devices There are two methods used to transmit data between digital devices which is the single transmission and the parallel transmission So, what are the differences? Hi! Okay, there are four differences between parallel and serial So if you're wondering what they are Keep on watching and let's gain some knowledge together. Vamanov! First, we are going to talk about data transfer or I may say how the data move from one to another. As for parallel, it transfers the data which are in bits in corresponding 8 channels, just like this. The data then is received simultaneously from those 8 channels. For serial, the data which are also in bits are transferred in a single channel sequentially, one by one at a time. It will completely receive the data after all 8 bits are sent. Then, we proceed with the second point which is speed or how fast the data moves from one to another. For parallel, the data moves faster than serial because it sends and receives the same amount of data simultaneously from 8 wires or we may imagine it as part. For serial, it is slower than parallel because it forms a byte of data at the end of the transferring process due to it only have one path for this job. Next, we are going to talk about cost and space. For parallel, it is expensive due to consisting of many wires. Regarding to that, it also requires more space. And for serial, since it is a single port with connector, it is cheaper and utilizes minimum space. Lastly, we're going to go through about the connections. For parallel, it uses more wires to allow data transfer simultaneously, but sometimes it could also cause the signals to be distorted due to interference, so it is very unsuitable for long distance. As for serial, it uses fewer connection and cables. Regarding to that, less wires equals to greater signals which is suitable and highly recommended for long distance. Here's a clearer situation how parallel would transfer the data. You may see that there are so many bits there traveling in path. But oh no, what happened here? Yes, this is the interference that we talked about earlier that causes the signal to be distorted. Now, if how the serial would transfer the data. You may see that the bit is transferred one by one only in one single path. Interference rarely happens here. So yes, the process is smoother compared to parallel. So I I think you can gain a lot of information based on how the data is being transferred between computers and other devices. So this is the end of our video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, hit the like button and drop some comments below if you think that you understand what we explain about. So uh, thank you and have a nice day peeps.